my YouTube friends. It's been a couple of years since I've taken a look at StreamYard. It's a totally free tool that a live streamer might be interested in, especially if you have a lot of guests on your live stream. So today we're going to take another look at all the free features that are offered in StreamYard. And of course, we'll show you what the pricing structure is as well. So you know what? Let's get to it. <laughs> Now there is a link in the description down below so you can check out StreamYard for yourself. It is totally free and you can walk along through it with me so you can learn it too. So let's jump right in. All right, here we are in StreamYard and I'm just gonna go ahead and click get started. And I've already done this, but we're just gonna sign up with Google. So we're signed in, there's a nifty little video that you can watch or whatever if you want to get more information. Here's what we have. Now I've already added my studio in here, but let's go ahead and just delete the broadcast. Now we've got streams and recordings, upcoming and past. So any broadcast that you did in the past will show up here. You can see this went out to Facebook and YouTube and we could create a new one. We've got our library where we don't have any current recordings, but this is where your recordings would be your destinations so you add destinations in here for any place that you may want to stream all you have to do is click here and select the destination so you can go to Twitter Facebook LinkedIn YouTube and Twitch Instagram all these down here you could select any one you want or you could repurpose custom RTMP means that you could basically stream to anywhere no matter what and then members right here these would be members of your team but have the ability to have an elevated access to your StreamYard account. I have a free account, so everything I'm going to show you today is totally free. We're going to come back to the library and we're going to create a broadcast, live stream, or use a pre-recorded video. So we could do that. We could record or we can do a webinar and we're going to do a live stream and we're going to use the studio. We're not going to use a pre-recorded video and we're going to go ahead and select this and we'll call this tutorial and we can put a description in here. And of course, here is how you're going to set up your stuff we're obviously going to go unlisted because we're just testing and we could put a schedule in here so we could schedule it if we want i'm not going to do that but you can and you can upload your thumbnail right here so all that stuff is accessible when you create a live stream and now we're going to just enter our studio and we're going to allow mic and camera access allow and now we're going to go into settings and we're going to go ahead and select our camera and we're going to select our def so we're going to go with full hd and as you can see you're not going to get full hd unless you pay so we'll go ahead and do 720 which is free you can mirror the camera so to flip it around if you can't read your shirt you know you need to flip it you can do the touch up my appearance thing i mean is there anything going to really help this no we're going to go into audio and we're going to go ahead and select the correct microphone there we go we could do echo cancellation remove background noise which i have construction going on over there probably would be great to use but i'm not going to and it'll automatically adjust mic volume if we're going to have guests we don't want to use default speakers we want to go ahead and use some headphones so that we can listen to our guests not have to worry about feedback so there we go let's go over general is just your camera's quality settings and this sort of stuff right here shift up videos you want to set your orientation to how you want to stream that kind of stuff we're going to go uh, down here to virtual background and if we wanted to use a virtual background we could say we have a green screen it will remove the background out of there we could select that and it will do a virtual background so you could see it works okay doesn't work great doesn't work badly you can add your own background images in here by clicking the plus and selecting which ones you want if you wanted to do that and it will probably get better because i'm sure it's ai so it gets better over time uh right here it tells you the recommended settings for your virtual background so what size you want when you upload it but we're going to stick with our regular background 
I'm just gonna move our microphone off to the side here a little bit. Um, we could set up recordings right here. And of course you could see a local recording is beta. You can record locally for each participant, which is kind of nice. So if we have two or three guests, we can put them on here. So we could record each participant. But of course on the free plan, you don't have that access. You'd have to upgrade. You can hotkey stuff right here, like muting your mic, turning your camera on and off, you know, sharing screens, all that sort of stuff you can hotkey and then we could go into guests and see what a guest can do guests can stream on their own destination so in other words when a guest logs into their StreamYard account to connect to you they can also stream that out to their own websites or YouTube or whatever um, guests see comments play a sound when a guest enters and guests must authenticate this is something that you could use if you share your link but you want to know who your guests are they have to authenticate so you're not just gonna get anybody showing up who, do, who wants to troll your stream you can put banned guests in here by their username you can authenticate and set a green room so that someone can select that guest to put them on on the stream if you would like now, obviously this is part of the upgrade as well so that's the basic settings that we have right there and we can put our display name in here and headline sure there we go so you can see what that looks like right there that's what your your bar is going to be if you don't want your headline you just delete it it's just going to show your name so there you go you can enter the studio and if we want to add ourselves to the stream all you have to do is click add to the stage and there we go so now we're on now of course this powered by StreamYard, that's the watermark you're going to get if you're using the free version there isn't any way to remove it that's kind of like the price you pay for using the free version down here at the bottom we've got our mute mutes our microphone it's going to tell us that we're muted right here we could stop our camera so it's just going to be a logo this is a super old logo that i used way back in the day we have access to all of the settings for the setup that we just did right in here we can present so we could present slides that would be things that we have on our computer or set up so if we wanted to go ahead and share slides that sort of stuff we can upload the files and we'd be able to share those out on screen we can use an extra camera which is kind of nice but of course you have to have the professional version to be able to use the extra camera and we could share a video file so I can just go and select a video file from my computer and there we go. So we have our video file. I can mute it, unmute it, pause it. So these four right here will show you the different ways that you could set this up. And there you go. And so these are four of the views with the presentation. And then of course we can remove the presentation by clicking remove right there. The three dots, we can edit the name of the presentation and remove it from the studio. You can pause it right here as well. Then of course in present we can also go with our share screen and we've got some tips here but we'll go up here you can use a chrome tab a window or the entire screen we can also share the audio with this little slider right here so if we wanted to share the entire screen we could go and share that like that so now we have both different items right here and of course you still have the same the same thing right there so now we've got two different items shared all you have to do is click add to the stage to share either one. Then when you're done, you can just click stop sharing right here. If you like, it will remove it. And that is pretty much what you've got in the present right here. We can invite guests just by going in here, copying, sending to email, Gmail, or wherever. And all you have to do is send this out to invite your guests. So we could copy this. Guests could stream on their own destinations. It allows you to set that up there as well. And boom. So now we've copied it. All we have to do is send this to individuals. Let's go over what we see over here on the right-hand side. So your comments, these are going to be the chat that comes in. You can select to show it on screen. This is what it's going to look like. When you're actually live, if you're live to multiple venues, it's going to have a little icon in there showing you whether it's Facebook or YouTube or whatever, anything like that. You just have to click on it again to hide. We can set up banners, super simple. So we can write these. It's going to be scrolling text along the bottom. This one here is just a banner and you could create these. They're very simple. And there you go. If we wanted to create one, you just enter your text here and we can have it scroll if we want or we could just add it and there we go enter your text here we could edit that right here as well we could have it scroll 
save and then when we select it it's going to scroll along the bottom so it's pretty much a matter of easily setting it up right here is your brand information so you could select the color that's the color of these little background things right here so if we wanted this to be yellow pretty simple there we go we've got a new yellow we could round the corners the classic just a super simple one like that or block we can show or hide display names right here and show or hide headlines which we didn't create one but we could go back and do it again and you could see we cannot unselect this if we are not upgraded and I have in the past been a paid consumer so I have my logo in here I could uh, I could select it if I was a paid client down here we have overlays so here is the StreamYard overlay where it puts this on the screen and has StreamYard live show um, I have uploaded overlays in the past but since I'm not a paid client I do not have access to any of those so I cannot actually show you what they look like but you can add an overlay obviously if you wanted to and if you are really creative you might even be able to get away with uh, animated overlay I have done that in the past that's what I was creating here with uh, PNG animated overlay sort of things there are video clips here that you can use so this is kind of like a countdown right here this was a video clip that I uploaded a very long time ago you can just go ahead and upload any video clip to use right here and loop it backgrounds right here video backgrounds are new so if you wanted to put a video background um, what this does if we add this to the stage you can see the background right there so you can't use custom backgrounds if you do not have paid version so these two I uploaded way back when and there's something that you have to pay for to add now we can add a video background so theoretically you could add this video as a background by clicking the plus and you know let's see let's use one of these so this is their video background so we should be able to use them and there we go you can see the waves going and let's see here yep there we go so you can go ahead and add those backgrounds just like that by clicking add a background and it does look like they have a pretty decent collection of ones that you can use or you can add your own obviously if you are a paid customer you can also add background music this background music is going to not get you copyright strikes so if you'd like to have some sort of ambient background music there is a couple here and of course you can add your own background music so if you wanted to uh, you could do that as well obviously you want to make sure that you use copyright free music so you don't get any strikes but that is all of the branding stuff very simple and then private chat would be chat that you would have with any guests that you invited so that the live stream doesn't actually see that we can select this and go down and edit it or remove or add we can click edit right here it will give us access to this so that we can add other destinations like we could add our Facebook and all that stuff and then to go live we click go live so let me show you what happens when we add guests to the live stream the usual suspects aren't available for testing this with me so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and connect using devices I have right here so we're gonna start with my laptop and here is the laptop you can see the microphone is working you could put a name in there and click enter studio and so now we are backstage so I can add it to the stage by clicking this right here and there we go so that one is my computer that one is my laptop we can adjust how these look by going like that and of course we can go and remove this and there we go and we'll add another one we'll go ahead and add the cell phone and you can select which camera you want to use obviously it doesn't want to switch from vertical to horizontal so it is what it is there we go so we're getting lots of feedback all right so as you can see we've got three cameras hooked up here when you set it up like this you can just drag to change views we can also add more by editing the layout and you can also add different layouts by clicking right here I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my cell phone because it's causing problems obviously you don't want to have three cameras in the same room that's what was causing the problems but we can still switch these by going like that we can edit the layouts however we want so it shows one two three you can edit those up gives you a lot of features that you can use with the guests and all your guests has to do is click leave studio and they can leave the studio your guests can present as well so they could present their desktop or anything like that and of course you could see 
that it doesn't matter what device you use, as long as it has a camera, you can connect it. It's ridiculously easy to get this stuff to work. So how much does this actually cost if you want to use it? Let's go back out here and let's click on upgrade and see what we get. So you've got individual business, monthly, yearly. Obviously, you're going to pay less if you go yearly for free. You're going to get what I showed you today. You get 20 hours to stream or record per month. You get two hours of local recordings a month, six on-screen participants, and you can add team members up to two. And of course, you have to have the StreamYard logo in there. And so this is what you get when you go with the basic. You can multi-stream to three destinations, which obviously you can't do for free. You can add logos, overlays, and backgrounds, 10 on-screen participants, pre-recorded streams you can do for up to one hour, unlimited streaming, live streams are all recorded, which is nice, unlimited local recordings, custom RTMP, which means you can stream to anywhere, guest destinations, which means your guest can stream from their location and up to 50 hours of storage. You don't get full HD until you go to the professional. You can multi-stream up to eight destinations. You do get the extra camera with the professional. Up to 12 backstage participants, which is nice. You get up to two hour pre-recorded streams. You get access to on-air webinars with up to 250 viewers. You can download your transcripts, which is kind of nice. I'm sure it's done in AI. And there are lots of other places to get transcripts, but it's nice that it includes it. And you can invite four more members as admins, which is nice. Now this look at StreamYard is for 2024. And it's been a long time since I've taken a look. And it certainly hasn't gotten any worse. It's pretty much the same as it was three or four years when I first looked at it. They've added a couple of features, but the main feature of StreamYard is really its ease of use. Anyone can use it. Anyone can connect to it and join you on a live stream. It's really easy to do that, and that's who this is for. This is for folks who just want to have a professional-looking live stream right out of the box with almost no hassle. It's relatively inexpensive, and a professional can live stream whenever they want share their screen, add guests, have conversations, and it will look professional every single time. It just works. And of course, it just works because that's what you're paying for. They have nice support for it as well. What do you think about StreamYard? Let me know about it in the comments. I'm really interested to know. Now, for those out there who might want a little more for their live streams, there are actually some browser-based options available. You can check out this video if you want to take a look. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.